Okay, I started up the OpenFlexure software and connected to my microscope. And I've loaded up a slide with a little bit of my dinner left over on it. So just so you can see what it looks like. So we can flip over to view. And this is the first image that I get. We have a navigate button here, which allows us to control the X, the Y, and the Z. We also have an autofocus mechanism that uses um, imaging in order to, to look at how clear the lines are coming in in order to adjust its focus. Didn't do much from there. Let's go for a fine. Well, it may be as focused as it can get there. So we can scan a little bit. So this is at 82,000 right now. So if we go to 70,000 and get a good movement going. It can be a little bit jerky, but that's because we're moving a large distance in a short period of time. And these are just simple stepper motors that are moving this as well. So, this is spaghetti sauce with a little bit of cheese. Not very interesting. Um, let's see if we can maybe get a better zoom on this. So I saw a little bit of movement in there. Could be just some of the liquid moving, or it could be that I got some little pathogens in there moving around. Now, this magnification is not that great. It's only using the Raspberry Pi's camera with an inverted lens. So on something like a, a mosquito, I have some photos previously. So this was actually done as a scan. And when you scan in, it will save all of the images that are scanned in for that series. And at each step of the way, it will scan in however many Z levels you ask it to. I had a better scan here. Okay, so now you see these little speckles here. These are actually part of wing structure. And here you see more of the wing structure. This is the wing of a mosquito. And you can actually, if you know how big a mosquito is, you can gauge the magnification um, by how large this, this tip of a wing is showing up. And these Oh, what I was calling mosquito feathers. Now, they're probably not actually feathers, um, but they sure do look like feathers, even with a little vein going down the center. So, this is the open flexure microscope. Cost approximately $50 to build. The most expensive item is the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi camera. The rest of it is 3D printed. So, whatever the cost of your 3D printing is. That's all for today. Goodbye.